I thought I'll talk to you about some online resources which are, you know, available to you. Some are free and some of them are, you know, a little bit of payment is required for that, but you, 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 know, you can take your call on what you want and what you don't want to get enrolled with. I think, you know, we read a lot about diseases in books, but as soon as it comes to applying all that knowledge to patient care, you know, we, we start, uh, you know, we start fumbling, we need hands-on training. So the, the key here is application, and I think some of the resources that I'm going to show you will really help you, you know, bridge that gap. And I, I really realized when I came into patient care that that is quite a large gap to bridge. So these are some of the things that uh, you, know, you can take a look at. We'll go very quickly through some of these. And there are plenty more out there, and you can search yourselves. But I think these are some which, which are very credible sources. And so I thought we'll, I'll take you over those. The first and foremost is the uh, ONE network, or the ONE network, which is from the American Academy of Ophthalmology. And you can actually access it straight, straight from the AIOC, uh, AIOS website, the AIOS.org. You can go to the member zone and just click. You'll see the ONE network link. And that will take you through the steps to enroll and get a free uh, uh, access to this. Of course, you can Google and you can get to the One Network. This is the home page as of uh, yesterday, and this is basically how it looks like. You can, on the top right, you can see, uh, you know, my name and that I have logged in. So you need to have a login and a password. I'm sure most of you have seen this, but I'm actually going to take you a little bit through uh, through the website to tell you that there is so much more that you can do with this. Okay, and uh, so it has on the uh, you know in the red box you can see those are the things that you that the uh, website offers. So academic grand rounds, you know the courses, eye movies, femto center, focal points, image collection journals. There are so many different things. So these this is a list of the academic grand rounds. You can see they are all divided as per subspecialties. These are some of the cases which are discussed in each of these grand rounds. You know, patient with diabetic macular edema, patient with you know a weird headache, patient with proptosis, and patient with vein occlusions, retinal diseases, corneal diseases. So this is a really a pot puree of you know. Uh, so like I said, it'll help you bridge the gap between theory and actual patient applications. There are certain you know the diagnostic challenges which keep coming up every now and then. You should actually challenge yourselves to diagnose those. Then th these are the courses which are also available. You get some CME credit hours also. And uh, again, they are all uh, divided in subspecialties. Uh, you know, these courses, uh, uh, this is just a page on the retina courses. You know, you'll see vascular diseases and uh, diabetic retinopathy, retinal detachment. It's pretty much all there. And so this is just you know uh, some screenshots of all these courses and the material which is available inside these courses. So it, it it's almost like you know textbook reading, but it has it has got relevant references. It keeps getting updated, so it's a very good reliable site. Uh, the, the best part about the AO, the One Network is that it gives you access to all these journals completely free of cost once you have a login and password. So the top-notch journals, ophthalmology, American Journal, British Journal, British Journal, the Survey of Ophthalmology, where you get all these review articles, all of those are free. The Indian Journal is also listed if you scroll down. There are these videos which they call master class. Uh, there are, you know, different master classes which you can actually keep looking. This is one from Dr. David Chang. There are certain self-assessment uh, tools which are there on the website. You can see again there are subspecialty wise. You know, this is an example of uh, the retina and vitreous, uh, you know, the self-assessment. So there are ten questions in each of those. So th those those uh, uh, icons show you know question one, two, three, four, etc. And then you actually get a score for yourselves. And before you leave the website, don't forget to you know, uh, look at this icon, the, the, the residence corner. So it's got you know, residence home, resident videos, uh, resident courses. A lot of that is actually paid content. But you know, like I said, you can go explore and then see whether you want to actually enroll in those or not. The, after the One Network, the other very reliable site is the Helio website, and it's got uh, information for uh, almost all of medicine, but ophthalmology is what we are interested in. And the, the main part of that is called the Education Lab. And so you'll see a lot and lot of uh, different lectures which are available from you know, some of the masters in the game. This is an example of a lecture on uh, recent advances in neovascular AMD. If you see the speaker, this is Sophie Bakri and uh, uh, Carl Regilio, who is, uh, you know, who is one of the most respected authors, and he's the, uh, the chief of the Wilsai Institute. So actually, you will hear you know, evidence right from the horse's mouth, from the people who are actually doing these studies. So they will tell you how to interpret data and how to you know, actually apply that to your patient care. So this is exactly how this is a screenshot. The the author is there and the speaker is there and the you know the uh, this thing is also there. The slides are also seen. So it's really useful. This is a little bit of an older version of the same website, but you can see you know recent guidelines, clinical trial interpretations, DRCR net protocols. As in when it gets published, it really comes on and you know you can have your hands on on that. 
makes a lot of sense to do that during your residency. And then these are some of the journals which are available uh, on this website. Not all of them are entirely free, but still, so this is the Osli Retina, which Neha was showing you one of her articles has come. Uh, journal of Refractive Surgery is one of the, you know, the most premier journals in refractive surgery. Uh, journal of Pediatric Ophthalmology and Strabismus is also one of the most uh, sort of respected journals. So the, uh, you know, this website carries all this material. And lastly, it also gives you a lot of, you know, very exciting news about, uh, you know, new things which are happening in ophthalmology. So this is a screenshot as of last night, which tells you about a clinical trial for uh, X-linked uh, retinitis pigmentosa, a gene therapy trial. And on the bottom left, if you see, you know, patients uh, which are uh, dosed with Adverum, which is a gene therapy trial for wet AMD, which, you know, we would really not read about. It would actually appear in textbooks maybe five or six years down the line. So these, these websites really give you a sneak peek into what's uh, the latest that is happening. There are certain others. We'll quickly go through these. So ACRS and ASRS and all these, uh, you know, these international bodies have their own uh, websites. And a lot of that has content which is excellent, but is uh, paid content only for their membership. ASCRS has a podcast which happens almost once every week. And that is actually free of cost. You can look at that. ICO also has an e-learning module on their website. You can go to ICO uh, website and uh, you can navigate through. And if you see, you know, it, there are two major parts. One is technology for teaching and learning. So if you're a teacher, it helps you how to teach people. And on the bottom, the ophthalmology webinar network. So this is the page on the top. There are all these bars. If you look at the webinar archive, this is what you get. There are plenty of lectures from, you know, pretty much all over the world. And there are links. You can click them and they open and you can actually see those lectures. Uh, this is a lecture series which has been developed by the Royal College of Ophthalmologists in London. Uh, this is a paid content, but uh, again, it's extremely good. If you, you know, if you think you want to get enrolled, you can actually take a look at that. IWiki is, you know, it's, it's the Wikipedia of ophthalmology, and uh, it's the encyclopedia written by physicians and surgeons, and it has, again, subspecialty-wise on your right, you will see categories, subspecialty-wise, lots of, uh, you know, excellent articles. They keep getting up, uh, upgraded, and even you can actually do uh, uh, the upgradation yourself if you find, you know, that one of those articles requires some additional material. Orbis, the flying hospital that you all heard about, that also has its own site. It's called, which is called Cyber Site, uh, and this is, you know, some of the material content that they have as well. Uh, itube.net is a very good website where you can learn about, you know, lots and lots of videos. There are probably thousands and thousands of videos. Lots of Indians also have contributed to that. CataractCoach.com, I don't know whether you uh, have looked at this, whether it's come up on your Facebook feeds. This is a, you know, a very sort of new website. It's six months old, but it already has 200 posts and by Professor Uday Devgan from uh, Los Angeles. It's about you know, four or five minute videos, and each video has a particular message to take, and it's really helpful for learners. Uh, like Karan has already shown you, there are certain YouTube channels. These are some of the most subscribed YouTube channels for Indian uh, surgeons, Dr. Deepak Meghur from uh, Karnataka. You know, not only a brilliant surgeon, but a brilliant teacher with, with the lectures, uh, you know, having a lot of good material to teach. Dr. Pradeep Mohanta, again, more than 9,000 subscribers. This is really good channels which you can actually keep looking at. EOPTHA is, an, again, an Indian-based website. It has a lot of materials, uh, you know, a lot of good blogs by, by uh, you know, a lot of uh, experts in that. Also, a lot of, uh, you know, PowerPoint presentations which you can keep downloading. Uh, it keeps getting updated every now and then. BMC Vision is again a part of the BMC group, and they have all these resources. So itube.net, which I showed you, is actually run by BMC. They have cataract and refractive surgery today. That is CSRT. They have retina today, glaucoma today, uh, and you can subscribe to all of these. They will come, you know, once a once a month to your email box. You can just click, and you can read whatever is there uh, in those issues. AIOS, of course, has its own uh, sources of webinars, which I'm sure all of you have experienced. Uh, they have their own YouTube channel, and now UC has also come up with its own YouTube channel, so stay tuned for that. And before we finish, you know, like we've been talking about thesis and doing some research. So e-learning is also crept in a lot into, you know, clinical research. There's a very good and free tool which is available on the Cochrane website. It's called, you know, the Cochrane Eyes and Vision. You can just Google this. And it has a free online course on journal peer review. It's essentially designed for people who review papers, but then it also has a lot of information for, you know, for all of you. And you, you saw uh, the slides on the PyCOT and, you know, the different sort of mnemonics which 
are used for different parts of a manuscript. You can find all of those there. And this has been designed by the Johns Hopkins Bloomberg School of Public Health, which is you know, pretty much the, the mecca for public health research. And uh, you know, there are certain very well-known names like Dr. David Friedman, who is one of the uh, you know, sort of leading experts in glaucoma research. And to finish it all, this is, this is my endeavor. This is my website. It's called Sengupta's Research Academy. And again, there is a lecture series there on, you know, the, uh, there, is, there is a module on overview, there's a module on literature review, uh, PubMed overview, st study designs. There is a whole module on biostatistics, starting from making an Excel sheet to communicating with a statistician, uh, different, you know, parts of manuscript writing, and then how do you deal with re rejections and references. So what we really looked at very quickly is the One Network, Helio, ASCRS podcasts, IC ICO, e-learning, uh, you know, courses, the uh, Royal College of Ophthalmologists, iWiki, uh, the Orbis uh, website, itube.net, YouTube channel, see your third table of contents from all these, you know, the, these publications and then e-learning on clinical research. And, you know, I hope you take advantage of all of these. I'm sure there are lots more which you can fill in, uh, you know, as, as we go ahead. These, these uh, resources are proliferating very, very quickly. So, uh, word of caution is, you know, look at the source from which it is coming and then, you know, think about whether you want to uh, take up that material or not. Thank you.